Hey guys, how are we doing today? Good, good? Yeah, good, good, good. So we're starting this one with a image board, something that I haven't really done before, but I really need to do more often. So it's basically just collecting sort of images that you like and something you want to aim towards and, and go to, something that you can really draw off when you're drawing your image. Uh, really pick pick things off and, you know, take this and that and, you know, really, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's talk about execution. And what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> We're your firing squad, sir. <laughs> Say you've got an idea in your head and you really want to get it down on paper. You've got, you know, you've got a clear image in your mind. It can uh, be really frustrating when you just, you just can't get it out. You just can't, you know, turn out how you wanted it to. Um, so the first thing you can do is just multiple attempts. Do one, doesn't turn out right, do another and, and keep building off that image. So uh, so the pencil drawing for this isn't actually too bad, I kind of like it. Um, however, it's when I start doing ink on the paper, you know, I really rushed ahead and it just didn't really turn out how I wanted it to. I think, you know, it's a real bummer when you, you have to start something again, which you know, you'll see in a moment. And I really, uh, yeah, I definitely did have to start again with this one. But you know, hey ho, is what it is. So uh, yeah, let's let's begin again after we uh, do the inkings. Oh my god, the inks went so bad. You you don't know what you're in for. Don't watch anymore. Turn off the video. Turn off the video. So you're going to see in a moment that I really messed things up on this one. She just looks like she has a big old donut on her head. It just looks really silly and really needs to take more time on her hair to get it right, to get it looking, you know, natural, good, you know, that sort of thing. Oh boy, and oh, things just go from bad to worse. Oh no, don't, don't stop. So yeah, we're, we're starting again. We're starting from scratch, from the beginning. So, does this mean we're going back to the beginning? Oh no, Puma, no. We're going way back to before the beginning. Um, so I took a little break in between, came back, um, and yeah, I sort of knew exactly the, the direction that I needed to go. So the head needs to be definitely more in the middle, more of centre, um, and there needs to be a bit more like a bend to her wrist, making it a bit more sort of dynamic and like she's offering up, you know, her heart, you know, to someone. Um, the general face as well, we really messed up, especially with the inks as well, that's the thing. You put down great pencil lines and then you just find you go and ink it, um, and of course you can't just, you know, rub it out, it's, it's sort of there forever. So you can see, on the initial image, the head definitely needs to come over more to the center. I couldn't quite fit her hair in. Uh, and the hand needs to be sort of more tilted. It sort of looks like in the first one, she's sort of grabbing her heart and sort of trying to keep it to her. But the feel that I wanted to go for was to have her almost offering her heart to whoever she's, you know, looking to and having her head sort of tilt backwards, looking more sort of upwards. That's, that's sort of the feel that I wanted to go for. I think again, I just I just rushed the initial image um, and it needs more care. Um, so after I did mess up the first one so badly, I realized I really needed to have a, a clear direction in mind for where I wanted to go with this uh, second attempt. So I chose, you know, definitive things to go for in this one. So you can see the lines on her face, you know, all goes in one direction. It's, you know, very formal. And I think I got the hair a lot better as well in this second one. The hair is, is really difficult to get looking natural. It's one thing that I've always struggled with. And I think I'll be doing a future video of sort of how I approach it and mistakes that I've made and things like that. So uh, the main image that I want uh, to finish this off with is sort of her holding her heart out um, and then some like calligraphy. You'll see in my image board I've got one which is you know very very similar to this. This is sort of where I got my idea from but I wanted to sort of give it my own rendition. So the calligraphy um, was yeah it's, it's I sort of do it every now and then. It's not really like a a big thing that I do but I do enjoy doing it and it's one of those things as well it's like the more time you take doing you know the better you get and then to finish her off 
we're gonna um, put her into the computer the puda and yeah go for her screen tones and mess around with you know all different colors and that sort of thing that's another thing about the computer is that once it's in there you can you know, really mess around with you know, the final the final product I was thinking of using uh, like Copic gray markers initially to sort of color and give you like gradient tones and stuff but I knew that I really wanted some red in there uh, and red black and white obviously goes really well it's you know sort of a nice color scheme to go for so I tried out a few different variations of sort of background and stuff and to be honest with this one I want to finish off on like a few different images you know something different for each one um, but yeah pretty hey pretty pretty good pretty happy with this one it's uh, yeah one of one of my better ones I've got to say I definitely think that um, if I'd carried on with that first one that I tried yeah it just wouldn't have come out as nice I think it was definitely a good thing to start again although it can be frustrating um, for sure you, you know you've, you've just got to go for it you know believe in yourself believe